Hello everyone. Our job for today is comparing RIP and EIGRP path selection. PCA and PCB need to communicate. The path that the data takes between these end devices can travel through R1, R2, and R3, or it can travel through R4 and R5. The process by which routers select the best path depends on the routing protocol. We will examine the behavior of two distance vector routing protocols, enhanced interior gateway routing protocol, and routing information protocol version 2. Part 1. Predict the path. Metrics are factors that can be measured. Routing protocols are each designed to consider various metrics when considering which route is the best to send data along. These metrics include hop count, bandwidth, delay, reliability, path cost, and more. Step 1. Consider EIGRP metrics. Based on the metrics, the path would be PCA to RA, to R1, to R2, to R3, to RB, to SB, to PCB, based off of the bandwidth. Step 2. Consider RIP metrics. Hops count is used by RIP. Based on hops count, the path would be PCA to SA, to RA, to R4, to R5, to RB, to SB, to PCB. Because there are only 4 hops, otherwise, the other path has 5 hops. Part 2. Trace the route. Step 1. Examine the EIGRP path. C represents connected, N, D represents EIGRP. As you can see, the path includes 5 hops to reach the destination. The minimum bandwidth on the path is 4 megabit per second. Step 2. Examine the RIP version 2 path. You may have noticed that, while RIP version 2 is configured, the routers ignore the routes that it generates, because they prefer EIGRP. Cisco routers use a scale called administrative distance and we need to change that number for RIP version 2 in RA to make the router prefer the protocol. The first number between the brackets in each EIGRP route entry is 90. Now, EIGRP routes were replaced with RIP routes. C represents connected, N, R represents RIP. As you can see, the route with less hops. In detail, there are 4 hops. The minimum bandwidth on the path is 1.2 kilobit per second. 
Now, the first number between the brackets in each trip entry is 89. Part 3. Reflection Questions The RIP version 2 routing protocol ignores everything but hops. In this case, it chooses the slower bandwidth. The EIGRP routing protocol ignores hops counts. Packet loss if it travels more than the time to live value. EIGRP gives more bandwidth. So different applications for different protocols. That's all for this activity. Thanks for watching.